Hi, this is Steve Teets with this week's uh, Now Newspaper's Football Spotlight. Last week I said it couldn't get any better with Homestead and Whitefish Bay. Well, I was wrong. This week it does get better as we have a battle of unbeatens down at Hart Park in Wauwatosa this Friday at 7 p.m. as Greater Metro Conference rivals Menominee Falls and Marquette square off for the Greater Metro Conference Championship. Uh, this is a storied, storied rivalry that has built up in intensity in the last decade. Marquette has a 7-4 advantage. Uh, Marquette, under Dick Basham, has been a powerhouse for many, many years, but in many, many circles, people see this as one of his very best teams. It is a uniquely physical and, and a very intense team. It gave, last year with essentially the same personnel, it gave Homestead the most difficult uh, game aside from the state championship game en route to the Highlander state title. It was an, a massively physical affair and that defense uh, behind lineback linebackers Cameron Botticelli and Marcus Trotter are, are, are just as mean and just as nasty. They posted three shutouts in the last four games and they are going to present a unique, unique challenge to uh, uh, Menominee Falls. The, high, uh, the Indians this season, however, are coming in on a roll. John Baker in his second year has got this veteran team believing in itself. They have, they have a high-octane offense led by uh, running back Cole Myra and wing back Matt, Matt Waduli. Uh, they're going to present a real difficult challenge for Marquette, possibly their most difficult one to date. Uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Uh, the coaches know and respect each other very, very well. They're going to be playing down at the newly refurbished Hart Park with its nice new field turf and, and brand new seating. Uh, but still the parking down at Hart Park is going to be a pain, so I would advise people to get there early. This game, I, th I can see, is coming down very close. The key will be if Falls can hold the off Marquette offense in check long enough for its offense, especially uh, the wild card who I see as Waduli, to make a few plays. If that happens, this game could come down right to the wire like it has so often in, the, in this last decade. Look for it to be a fun physical affair. And as I always advise in games like this, get here early because this one is going to be packed and it's going to be a lot of fun. This is Steve Teets with Now Newspapers Football Spotlight for this week. Thank you very much.